here at BAA, we're charged with being a beacon for the city. It's as if someone said, there are talented, creative young people in the city who will shine and prosper and show you all these wonderful things if you give us a chance. Now we're charged with this really remarkable transformation that has to happen. making bold gestures with your mid-tones and your general coloring and then you can come back to do your highlight work. Before I was really shy and I thought I could do nothing. I grew up here. I found things that I didn't know about myself. When I first came here freshman year I didn't like it here. I just wanted to be with my friends so much I was so convinced on going to another school. I transferred to the other school. I didn't like it there. And that's when I really started talking to all my teachers, and it was like, well, we would like you to stay here. So I came back. When I attended BA, my main focus was graffiti and illustration. I was so scared of painting and doing the human body, because it was something so different, and it was out of my comfort zone. What we do in our visual art department is we remember that we're not teaching a class, we're teaching students who are humans. What's at the core of your humanity that manifests in an artistic way? And how do we give you access to communicate and express and navigate through life more skillfully through that lens? The teachers are incredible. They're very blunt with me. If I'm doing something that I could improve, they tell me, and I appreciate that because I feel like that's how I grow. What else do you notice? My teachers are like my second parents. I've really noticed how much they really care about me. They really pushed me to do what I can't reach and things that I didn't think I could do. They'll always be there to give me a hand and be like, yes, you can, and we're here to help you. This word here? As pseudo. Does anyone know what this word means? I used to be really hard headed. I never listened. Boston Arts Academy has changed me to be a more humble person. And I think a big part of that was my teachers telling me how I was acting and how I wasn't interacting with other kids and stuff. And it molded me to be a better person. Okay, for Anna Jumla. Jumla. There are certain things that we can teach them, but what really is valuable is the meta and how we teach them to really engage with the world responsibly and um, responsively. Good. We don't keep all these skills that we have learned for ourselves. We give it back to the community. We use it and we benefit others. Yusling sees it as her responsibility to go back and do these things. She sees the power of her art and the power of art in general as something that can transform lives. You gonna grab a brush? Everything that I was teaching there, it's what I've learned. And that's why I was so confident about it. That's why I was like, this is how to do it because that's what I was taught. When you're working, just make sure you know, you're doing things neat because you want that kid to feel special and you want it to, you know, you look nice for them, okay? I have the opportunity to go to an art high school. Like all those basic skills, I apply to my paintings here at Artists for Humanities and teaching other people in the painting studio. So all the stuff that I gained from school, I brought it to AFH. I was taking science 12, and I thought about the Arctic and the polar bears, the penguins and stuff, and what would happen 20 years from now. Will I still be able to see the same animals, or would my kids still be able to see the same animals? 
By the time our students are seniors, they understand that they have to respond to a community. They understand the connection between what they do and who they're doing it for. Art is important because it's a way to express the unexpress. It's a way to say what we can't say any other way. Art is just one of the first things of life, no matter if it's music, visual arts, or dancing. Before we even have a language, people was dancing, cavemen was drawing on walls. So art connects us all together into one. As long as you have something very passionate in terms of arts, you're gonna be fine in life. That transformation is real, and I don't know how it's gonna happen without a Boston Arts Academy. We learn so much here. There's things that you can't really buy. VA forms artists and citizens and scholars. I think people that come out of Boston Arts are gonna be very successful. They have a solid foundation in their education, and uh, they can make it happen in the world. We are a community, and this community inside Boston Arts Academy expands farther than just Boston. And no matter how far we are apart from each other, the Boston Arts community is still one. We're greatly indebted to the foundation and to all of um, our supporters who really believe in us. art for the rest of my life. I can't give it up. It's how I breathe. It's my oxygen. VA <laughs> for life. VA for life. VA for life.